Good morning. Right now it is bright and early, probably like 7 a.m. I've been up since like about 6. I took Elijah to school. Kingston is actually in the shower. And right now I am about to do the girls' hair. It is their first day of school. I want to do it into a ponytail. In a ponytail? Alright, so Leah wants a ponytail, but we're gonna give her a bun because y'all come back from summer and we don't know who got lights. And we ain't trying to have that headache over here. A lot of y'all are always asking me to teach y'all how to lay baby hairs. And this is going to be your tutorials right here, oh. right now. So I always slip back her hair or their hair with gel. The gel that I use, I'm about to show y'all, called Eco Styles. It's an organic gel and it's for all hair types. All right, so hers, I can't really split them in the middle because her hairline already dries her baby hairs this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this gel just a little bit and we're gonna gel that and then I'm gonna add right here all the way to this. And you make sure you grab every baby hair. So Gigi is ready for school. She got her baby hairs laid. <laughs> She's wearing a bun. Show me your outfit. Are you excited? Yeah. Kingston, what are you doing? I just got out the shower. And um I'm about to go to school. Don't really want to. But I got to go to school. I hate school. I don't hate it, but it's kind of annoying. We got my headphones, I need to get everything ready. I'm trying to get everything situated. Oh yeah, I need to put on deodorant too, hold on. Silky Slim, let me see your outfit of the day, Silky. Ooh! Oh! Hi. Leah's outfit, have you seen it? Let me see your outfit, get on here. So you representing, huh? You wearing the Blue Channel TV shirt? <laughs> All right, well, it's time for us to head out. I have to go take the girls to school. I wanted to take Kingston to his school, but King don't want me to take him to school. So he's gonna ride the bus with all his little friends. She didn't have another shirt to wear besides Blue Channel TV shirt. She wants to wear it. Let her. You don't wanna wear no. that shirt? She don't wanna wear that. Yes, she does. As expected, it was a packed house and we are gonna have to walk in through where your classroom is, so you're the first one to get dropped off. I don't think you can. What? Yeah, you're first. Are you excited? Are you nervous? What grade are you going to do? Hey. Are you excited? Yeah. You remember your teacher's name? Yes. What's her name? Miss Morales. Good job. Give me one. Are you ready? No. Not at all. Not at all. It's because my classroom is outside. That's my favorite. It's going to be hot. Hey guys, so I'm about to go to my class and kind of don't want to. Shout out to all the parents that wake up early in the morning to get their kids ready to go to school, drop them off, and just do their job as proud parents. Lucky is actually at the house holding it down with baby Houston. I really think he's still asleep, but you never know. So hopefully when I get home, they're up so we can eat breakfast. I don't know what we're gonna eat, but we'll see when we get. What's up, party people? 
Y'all miss me? It's the first day of school. I'm enjoying this quietness in the house. I wanted to put baby Houston in daycare, but Kelly talking about she gonna feel bad if we drop him off in daycare and just come back home and be at home. And she's saying that she'd rather just keep him by her side. So we got rid of most of the kids today for school. Sort of like I got a daily babysitter now. So I can get used to this quietness. But and baby, I'm back from school. Um, it was good. It was a long day. Oh. I came home at like five. I'm hungry though. Even though I just bought a snapple from school, I'm still hungry. There's really nothing to eat, but look at our purple lights. Um, yeah. Nothing really to eat. So I'm just not gonna, probably just gonna chill out. Wait for dinner. I'm gonna make some, 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 some salmon. Some salmon? <laughs> Move. Say, is you ready? All right, today we're making some salmon for dinner. I had to cook everybody up out of here because it was way too loud. So I need some peace and quiet while I cook. Kingston is my sous chef. If you do not know what a sous chef is, that means he's my helper. And we finna cook up this salmon. We got us some avocado oil, some garlic, some onions, some salmon, some lemon butter sauce. You need this and get the broccoli out. And where's the onion at? I like it. King's trying like he don't know what's going on. He when I tell him to do something, he don't do it. Then when I bust him upside the head, he want to look at me like I'm crazy. Where is the onions, Dad? I thought they were in the fridge. We don't have any onions. <laughs> we don't. We don't have any onions. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the onion? Move. So if I find the onion right now, I can hit you with it. Why is there apples in the refrigerator? Of course. Apples don't go in the refrigerator. Onions. <laughs> Why did you tell me the pantry in it, Dad? You looked in the refrigerator and couldn't find them. Oh my God, I want to be specific. Kingston, did you tell the vlog on your first day of school what? Of course. <laughs> How'd it go? <laughs> Why why go fishing when you can just go to the grocery store and buy you some fish? Because, Save yourself the time. Because it's not actually fished. It's probably processed. No, this ain't this is organic like the planet. It smells good. I know what I'm doing over here, baby girl. Bole, 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 bole. So we're gonna get the garlic, we're gonna get the onion, we're gonna get the bell pepper. Hold up, man. Don't forget to leave your cash app name in the comments, man. We're doing a hundred dollar giveaway every Friday from now till November 6th. We're in the middle of a six week daily blog challenge. So if you haven't already, leave your cash app name in the comments. And Kingston gonna send you a hundred dollars on Friday. Ain't that right, Kingston? <laughs> what? This is one big piece of fish. So what we're gonna do here is cut it in half. So it's two. Can I cut something? No, I'm already done cutting. Cut something? Can I cut something? I thought you were helping with Houston. It's only season. Yeah. So you guys first start. I'm gonna throw it. And now I'm gonna do one time. I got it. Okay. You want Get it? You wanna? Woo! Woo! And then get you lemon. Lemon or lime. Come on, man. She waiting on. Put the apple down. You get this lemon butter deal right here. And this was gonna set it off. This is the secret ingredient. This was some lemon. Tony seasoning, you can't go wrong. We're gonna put this on there and put the top on and turn the fire down. <laughs> it's one. Easy though. A chef never tells his secrets, Dad. Oh yeah, move your little dirty fingers. Have you been scratching your armpit? <laughs> of course. Move. Get away from my food. I have it on this kitchen. This is my secret ingredient. 
Wrong so now we're going to turn it on low. We're going to put it on low fire with the top on and let it cook for about 15 minutes. Hold up, baby. I'm sitting here letting this food cook, having a conversation with my oldest son right here, Elijah. And he's talking about he don't want to go to college because he just wants to work for himself and be his own boss. And I'm telling him that's cool, but when you work for yourself and you be your own boss, it's on you to be responsible enough to get up every morning and make something happen. Because when you have a nine to five and you work for somebody else, you got a boss right there telling you what to do. They're telling you what your job is for the day and what your project you got to work on and what you got to do. But when you're your own boss, you have to be the one telling yourself, I got to wake up and I got to make something happen today. Okay, well then give it like eight minutes. I would say eight more minutes and we're going to be ready to rock. If you want to take a look at this corn though, it's looking delicious. Juicy butter, buttered up seasoned corn. Got my spinach and I got my fish and my broccoli. Walking, 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 walking. Oh, we never updated them. Y'all, Houston is officially walking for real, for real. Like he walks everywhere he goes. He falls sometimes and he just doesn't crawl. He gets back up and walks. So he knows what's up. Yay to you. You're gonna smash your finger, boy. Let me get some of that. Avocado we got yeah. right there. Already. Right there. I'm glad. All right, you guys. I am almost done with my meal and it was bomb.com. I love you, babe. Thank you for cooking dinner. But, anyways, before we go, I want to give a huge shout out to Cynthia from LA. Happy birthday, girl. I know you're turning 35. God bless you. And I hope that you enjoy your birthday and have fun. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, and also turn on your post notifications because the 90 day challenge continues. <laughs>